Hey, what's up guys? Roman Gonzalez here. Thank you for checking out my channel. Today we are running episode 17 of Get Your Foot in the Door, a show, a series where I go through the process of how to get your foot in the door in whatever industry you choose. Primarily for me, it's the video production, the sales industry. One thing I wanted to touch on today, the sales life cycle. This was taught to me by a mentor named Nick. If you're trying to go out and you're trying to work for yourself, you're trying to create a product, you're trying to offer a service, you are a salesperson. You are in sales. Every single person, regardless of what you're doing, if you're trying to convince your parents to go to TJ Fridays instead of Applebee's, you're selling. You're persuading. You're selling. A really good book that I'd like to reference is the book by Grant Cardone, Sell or Be Sold. Really good book to help me open up my eyes to understand understanding that literally in every moment of your life, you're either selling somebody else or you're selling yourself on an idea or product or service, or you're being sold to. Literally every single second that you're living, you are either being marketed to or you're marketing. That's just the way it is. I'm marketing for polo right now. I'm wearing polo, I'm wearing Under Armour, I'm wearing Nike socks. I'm selling for them and I was sold to buy that. If you disagree, let me know in the comments. I would love to chat with you about it. Sell or be sold. Great book, by the way. Let's get right into it. So I'm gonna take this, this blue line, I'm gonna place it right here. Now what this blue line symbolizes, and I hope you can see it, th what this blue line here symbolizes is happiness. Happiness, motivation, positive feelings, right? This is what happens, you know, you get up here uh, when you're performing well, you're making a sale, maybe you, you get a tip, right? You get tipped at work, uh, somebody slides you an extra 20 or an extra $10 bill because they see you working hard. You get a little dose of dopamine, a little, a little bit of positive chemicals running through your brain, right? Your heart's pumping. And then down here with the red marker, what I'm going to mark, this is sadness, disappointment, we can call it. When you're feeling down, you're feeling sad, this is sad. Like I said before, if you are an entrepreneur, if you are trying to work for yourself, even if you're doing it part-time, you gotta understand you are in sales. Now, the big misconception with sales is that it's bad to be in sales, or like if you're in sales, you have to persuade people, you gotta pressure them, you've gotta do all this negative stuff. That is a complete lie, that's a bullshit, that's an old way of thinking, and it never was the right way to think. What sales is, simply helping people. It's simply asking questions to better understand how you can serve somebody. If your product or what you're trying to sell doesn't serve, then you're selling to the wrong person. You don't need to be in that conversation. But a lot of times you've got to qualify and you got to ask questions and you got to have a conversation to understand whether or not this person needs your product or your service or they need to go to the bar that you want to go to versus the arcade that they want to go to or whatever it is. You shouldn't be selling somebody something that they don't need, wasting their money. It's not cool. That's the first point I want to make. Maybe you started a new job, any type of job, and maybe it involves sales or maybe you're getting into starting videography for the first time. You're trying to get get your feet wet, jump in the business, and you're gonna be pretty excited, right? So you're gonna probably start off around this happiness, you know, mark when you jump in, maybe you get, you get a sale right off the bat and you're happy, start right here. You're really happy, you're really happy, and then you can start getting rejected, right? You get rejected and then you get a sale, you get happy again, you're seeing some progress, you, get you have your best week that you've had so far, you come up above the happiness, you go down, and then maybe you have a slump, you have a bad, bad week, you're a bad month, and you're just hurting, you're hurting, you come back up. We kind of follow this pattern of emotions, of being happy, being sad, going up, going down. And this is the sales life cycle. A lot of times I notice that in the beginning, the lower that you can go, the higher you can come up and you get used to these waves of emotion. But over time, as you're going through these waves of emotion, right, you're going through a wave, maybe you start off low. I actually see a lot more success with people who start off with poor numbers than people who jump into sales and do well off the bat because then when they hit that rejection, that, that sadness, curve of emotion, it, it, only, it pretty much almost always breaks them to quit. But if you start off sad and then you build up, you already have a baseline to go off of. But what happens through repetition, and this can only happen through repetition, and I'm talking a lot of repetition. I'm talking day in, day out, I'm talking to 100 people a day, 500 people a day. As a salesperson, as a marketer, your job is to get your message, your pitch, so to speak, in front of as many people as possible on a daily basis. That's what you need to do. As you get better at it, you are able to relay that message 
more efficiently, more eloquently, and you're also able to relay it to the right people. You find the type of people who are buying your product and how you can further improve your numbers through repetition. It can only come through repetition. It can only come through mass rejection because the rejection or the lack of rejection is what gets you to be emotional, right? So when I first started, I started off super cheap. I got myself to the point where I was able to get, you know, 300 bucks for a music video. I'm like, damn, this is nice. People are saying yes. I'm not getting turned down for a $150 music video or free music video. People were saying no, pushing me the other way, right? I'm like, okay, cool. I got it on lock. I'm pulling in 200, 300, 400 bucks for a music video. And at that point, in order to make a decent living, you gotta be doing a music video every day. And it's a lot of freaking work. In order to get my income up, I, I'm stuck, right? I can't do more than, than seven or 10 music videos in a week. It's just not really possible. I have a time restraint. So my income is capping off. But the thing, the thing that happened is so like, I'm getting all these no's, I'm getting all these no's, right? I'm going down, down, down. I'm getting all these no's. And we'll, I'll illustrate it, right? So I'm getting, I'm getting rejected, I'm getting rejected, and then I get up here. Ooh, I got a 300. Oh, I'm, they're not going for the 500. So let me stick with the 300. I'll kind of like hang out around here. And then, I, you know, I don't want to dip back down by offering a higher number and getting rejected. So I just kind of like stay like right here. As I kind of like stay right here, I get comfortable. And then when I go out and I try to, you know, make a sale for a higher number and I get rejected, since I haven't experienced that rejection in so long, it hits me way harder than it needs to, right? But if you keep that repetition and you keep pushing yourself, keep asking for a higher number, you keep that rejection, keep getting used to that rejection and don't let it go away, get rejected, get rejected, get rejected, get a win. Over time, you kind of just base out to the point where it doesn't matter if someone says yes or no, because guess what? You are secure and solidified in your belief of your product or your service or whatever you, idea that you're fighting for, that it really doesn't matter. When you're selling, it's for some people and it's not for some people. You don't get to decide who wants or who needs your product. All you are able to do is offer the value, demonstrate how your product or service or idea is going to be beneficial to them and then you execute you close the deal you let you give them the confidence that they need to say this is what i need to do this is what's best for me this is an investment in my business this is an investment in my career whatever it is whatever idea that you're selling this is an investment in my future for the tonight to go out and find a girl or whatever it is that you want to do find a guy you got to have that rejection man the lack of rejection right are of, for my generation and lower generations get, getting you know everybody on the team gets a trophy even if you came in last place in the season that is not how life works man you have to experience rejection you have to go through that repetition if you want to be an entrepreneur you want to work for yourself you want to make sales you have to get used to rejection you have to seek it out you got to Develop that tough skin and make it happen, baby. That's a sales life cycle. I hope you guys enjoyed this type of content. Appreciate you. If you're picking up what I'm putting down, make sure you drop a comment. I would love to answer any of your questions. And make sure you drop a like on this video as well, man. Smack that like button, turn it blue. Hit the subscribe button as well if you haven't already. If you got something out of this, I appreciate it. If you didn't like this video, give it a dislike, man. Drop me a diss comment in the, in the comment section. Let me know that you hated it, that it's not true, it's not real. But this is real for me. This is something I've learned through my years in sales and door-to-door -door and managing sales teams and network marketing and you know being self-employed as a video production, as a video producer, um, you know, finding video clients, whatever it is that you do. Whatever it is that you're trying to do, you're going to hit some resistance. Seek out that resistance and to build that tough skin to get your positivity in your mind and your level of production, not only that, and your level of sales, you got to get in front of as many people as possible, man. You got to get them like that, man. Another great book I'd recommend. Pretty sure there's an online copy. You can just Google it and find it. It's called Go For No. It's basically setting goals to get rejected because you know that every so many rejections is an acceptance, is a sale. So you gotta get those numbers out, you gotta make sure to put that work in. Stop being emotional, man. Over time, only with repetition and with constant rejection, will you be able to become non-emotional and not care? Because it doesn't matter to me if that person does or does not buy, there will be another buyer, there will be another person. And if it's not right for them, that's okay. It's not my fault. It's not anybody's fault. Yes, I can always improve my systems. Yes, I can always improve my sales technique. I can always improve my presentation. Always, always, always. 
constant improvement, constant rejection, constant fight for success. That's the sales life cycle, baby. The business, the entrepreneur's life cycle. That's it right there. You want to get your emotions non-existent, right? The person who wins the negotiation is the one who keeps the least amount of emotion involved throughout the entire conversation. Appreciate you guys. Hope you like this video. Make sure you hit that sub button once again. Smash that like button, baby. I appreciate you. I'll talk to you later. Peace. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hi, Alpha. Really cool name, by the way. Uh, my name is Roman. I'm a local filmmaker in Los Angeles. I'm running a promotion right now for a free uh, real estate video up to one minute in length. Uh, I'm running this promotion to build my portfolio in higher end listings. So the only uh, ask that I have is that the listing be over three million in uh, the listing price. Uh, let me know if you might be interested. I'm running this offer through the end of the month. Uh, again, my name is Roman. Uh, go ahead and, and text or call this number. I can send over a uh, portfolio that I have already uh, so you can see my work. Hey Ash, hope you're doing well. My name is Roman. I'm a filmmaker in Los Angeles. I'm running a promotion right now for a free real estate video um, with the drone and the walkthrough and everything. <clears throat> uh, I'm offering it for free because I'm looking to build my portfolio in higher end listings. I've done maybe 15 or 20 real estate videos already, but they're all you know, under 750,000 or around that range. Um, so I'm looking to build my portfolio, offering this for free. The only condition is that the listing must be at least 3 million in value. Um, go ahead and let me know if this is something you're interested in. Again, uh, you know, no strings attached. I'm just looking to network and build my portfolio. <laughs> so I'm getting voicemails. It's not really rejection, but look, that took less than three minutes. I made two calls and it could potentially result in thousands of dollars year after year in revenue for my business just by making, spending the, the 90 seconds per call it takes to leave a voicemail, right? Obviously you got to do it a lot of times, repetitive, and most people are going to say no, but who knows? You might land one in that 90 seconds. 90 seconds for $90,000. I think that's a good deal. Do one more. Hi, is this Maggie? Yeah, this is you. What is this? Hi, Maggie. This is Roman. I'm a filmmaker in Los Angeles. I'm running a, oh. a promotion right now for a free real estate video uh, for listings over $3 million. Would that be something you might be interested in? Mm, for video? Video, yeah. So I'm, I'm looking to build my portfolio in higher end listings. I've done a few, a few videos, but it's just around half a million dollar listings. So I'm looking to... Uh, do higher, higher priced ones. That's why I'm offering the first one free. Oh, okay. So h how much is, how much do we pay? It, it's a free opportunity. So the first one is completely free. And um, after that, if it helps you sell your house, we can talk about the next one. Oh, I see. Uh, what I can I, do I, is, I is send you some examples. And if you like it, um, we can, we can see if we can do one for you. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. okay. Can, I, can I text this number or do you have an email I can send it to? Uh, you text this number. It's good. Your name is Freeman, right? Roman. My name is Roman. 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 Okay. Roman. Okay. okay. You can text to this one. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. No problem. Have a and great then, day. Yeah. And then tell me your, your, you know, I don't, I feel uncomfortable when I say so. So. Tell me your, also your, your fee schedule, you know, after the first one, yeah. Okay, awesome. Will do. Okay, thank you. Okay, Maggie, have a good one. Bye. Cool, so there it is. She wants to see my fee schedule even after the first one. She, she's looking for consistent work, man. One call took 30 seconds, explains her the offer, and it could result in thousands of dollars year after year. Go make those calls, baby. Knock on them doors, baby. Hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos. We talk about shit like this. Get your foot in the door, episode 17. Appreciate you, man. Peace. I know I'm always like ending the video and then jumping back in, but just wanted to, you guys to see a little bit live action of what this actually means, putting in the work and getting that shit done, baby. Let's make some sales. Let's get it. Peace.